Good morning guys, Griffin Dahlberg here, Twin Cities Peppers. Today is June 29th, 2022. And uh, yeah, we got our first update. Uh, I know I've been um, not around for a while and uh, I do apologize for that. I've just been, um, I started a new job and I've been very busy and the season didn't get off to um, as soon of a start as I would have liked it to here in Minnesota. But um, everything's in the ground, been in the ground for about three weeks now. I just want to kind of introduce you guys to what I have going on. I got quite a few plants this year, and um, I'm excited for you guys to uh, come with me this year, this season, check it out, and uh, learn a thing or two, and uh, hopefully teach me a thing or two as well. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, uh, you'll notice some basil in some of my pots. I just wanted to kind of add some basil. I had a lot of extra basil and um, kind of put it in the bottom of some of my pots so you'll see that going around here. But um, first off, we got our Griff Reaper plant too. This is the more uh, compact one. Um, I always put the Griff Reaper in this spot here. We got some peppers going on uh, underneath. Um, can see here we got a, a bunch of different phenos going on here just because it is so early I got a lot of small ones um, I will usually pick those ones off but uh, right now I'm just kind of letting them letting them go see what happens so um, it's the plant two from last year that's what I called it I had it uh, over in this pot last year if you do recall that um, you can go back and take a look at some of my videos but this is actually the plant uh, one which is a little bit it normally goes here um, I should have kept it consistent, but um, yeah, my fault. But uh, yeah, that's the Griff Reaper there. Here we got our Super Boot from White Hot Peppers. Um, uh, the, the rippling leaves here, you can kind of see it is growing very fast. Uh, that's what will happen. It will be a lighter green on the inside and it'll, the leaves will kind of ripple um, just because it's uh, growing so fast. So you can see that on that plant there. Um, we got some flowers coming in underneath, a couple peppers, um, and like I said guys, the early peppers on most of these plants aren't going to be very true to what they um, look like in pictures and stuff when you get them online. Um, but yeah, you can get these seeds over at White Hot Peppers. Um, that's where I got mine from. I got a, a, quite a few of them from him this year, so I'm uh, really excited to try out some new varieties. Here is my Maruga Red Monster. Uh, I don't know if you remember this from a couple of years ago. Just big, nasty peppers. Um, again, they're not going to be as big as they will be uh, probably next month. But um, uh, yeah, they're all doing really well. But uh, I started all these in um, February, actually. So I'm really lucky I did that just because of how fast they've uh, been able to um, go in the soil and be up to speed uh, with how late of a season we, we got uh, as far as uh, start, starting time this year so it was pretty chilly up till um, about a month ago and uh, we didn't really get a spring just went straight to summer here in Minnesota so here we got our pink tiger times super boot times peach boot from white hot peppers again we do have some peppers on there um, just a few but you'll notice I like to keep my bottoms clean down here and um, for good reason uh, bugs and stuff will like to kind of use these little pathways down below to get up on the plant and um, cause your plants harm so if there's uh, if you have any ability to kind of eliminate that from um, the ground cover uh, and then uh, you know it just kind of cuts off their route to get up onto the plant but I do like to keep mine clean down here um, as you can see um, and then a couple things I got going on up top this is actually still the same exact soil from it's my third year in this soil, and I swear it just keeps getting better and better, which is why I really like no-till a lot. 
Um, if you guys don't do uh, mulch on top, that goes a long way as well. So I actually have worms in all these. If you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that. Um, I plant cover crop in there, so you can see some cover crop starting to come up here. And then I will cut that cover crop down once every couple weeks, and um, the worms will actually break it down and uh, keep the um, biosphere happy within the soil. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, I, I've really just done nothing but water these things this year, which is uh, absolutely amazing just to see how well they're doing on such old soil. Um, so I, I do top dress a little bit with compost, and then I like to use this uh, BioLive here. Um, about a quarter cup every every uh, three weeks or so. Just kind of top dress on top and that just kind of keeps the soil happy. But a uh, very minimal effort on my part as far as uh, feeding goes. So if you guys want to learn more about that, just uh, you can check out my channel. Here we got our Gage's Giant Ghost Scorpion Yellow. Another one from White Hot Peppers. Um, just just a big yellow ghost scorpion as the name implies um, I'm really excited about this one as well I do love my ghost peppers and um, just the, the output that most of them have it's pretty insane so um, again keeping the bottoms clean getting a lot of flowers on here and uh, yeah we got some more mantis in here this year per usual and I will kind of show you those as we go around Okay, here we got a couple of my purple pumpkin um, crosses from two years ago. Um, this is the purple pumpkin times peach reaper um, plant two. So plant two was the pumpkin shape one. Um, plant one was the elongated shape one, kind of a peach color with the um, um, uh, bleeding calyx on both of those. So these two actually are, so this is plant one, this is plant two from last year. Um, this one's got a really dark color to it. I really like the, the look of that one. Um, and then we got another plant one and another plant one as well. So we got one, two, three plant ones and then one plant two. Um, looking good. I mean, this one lost a lot of its leaves in, indoors. Um, I did some overwatering. It's what happens when you get up over 100 plants plus in one tray. It's kind of hard to keep an eye on the individual plants. So a lot of times uh, what happens is uh, overwatering when you're just bottom feeding from the uh, tray. Um, so just be careful of that when you're indoors. There's one of our mantis friends right there. But uh, this is our Griff Reaper um, uh, plant one. This, these are all F5, I believe. So started them. Um, no, so the first uh, cross came up three years ago. So that would have been F2. Last year grew it. F3. This year F4. So these are all F4s, um, Griff Reapers. But you can see how this one's not as tightly packed as this one. Um, but I think I got these uh, seeds. My buddy saved them, Tony, over at Primal Peppers. And I called this one the Big Nasty just because uh, it was uh, a lot bigger than ones that I'd normally seen. So, praying mantis hanging out. Here is my Scotch Brain. Um, you can see here, this is the cover crop that I'm kind of talking about. You'll see that kind of um, within here. You can get that seed from Build a Soil. Um, they sell it on Amazon as well. Uh, but it just does a really good job at, um, you know, kind of feeding nitrogen back to the soil. So um, the plant will actually exchange carbon for nitrogen down in the root zone. Um, and it's kind of just like a win-win for both for both parties there so um, scotch brain I think we got a couple peppers under here but uh, 
not many yet. So just a couple ones down there, but you can see by this, uh, the growth on this, it's just very light color growth. That means uh, you're getting pretty much uh, very explosive growth going on. And uh, it's always good to see, so. Here is my ghostly jalapeno. Um, <laughs> a couple more mantis hanging out down in there. One right here as well. I really did like this one from last year. It allows you to kind of eat a ghost pepper without burning your face off, um, which is always nice. Here is my Fatali Red. Um, you can see here inside, uh, sometimes you'll get kind of uh, weird growth wall indoors, um, but you know, typically once you come outside, you just get these beautiful, beautiful leaves on there and that's what you want to see. So another thing is, to kind of just gauge how fast your plant is growing because I know when you're around it every day and you're seeing it every day it's kind of hard to uh, tell the difference from day to day uh, it's not until you really step away from from home for more than two days that you come back and realize how much they're actually growing but a good way to tell is kind of bend the stock here if it's uh, very um, kind of soft and easy to bend that means they're growing fast uh, the uh, stock hasn't actually had time to set up yet and um, become rigid as they normally are. So, it's a little another tip tip that I've uh, found. Okay, here is my um, T.S. Murga Yellow Times Yellow Brain Strain crossed with a Scotch Brain from last year. It's my first year growing this one out. Got some mantis hanging out in there. Those ones just hatched. Um, this one's really uh, picking up and. Um, growth right now which is really good to see so got a lot of flowers on there um, some mantis actually coming out down there right now so that's always cool um, but yeah I'm excited to see this one always exciting when you get a new cross see what it turns out to be so and of course we got our Aleppo's Aleppo 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 Here we got our peach boot, so peach, peach boot jalocria. Um, all these things are really just loving their pots right now, guys. It's really fun to see. And this one actually does have quite a few on there. Um, a lot more to come, but quite a few on there as is. And typically, if these things weren't too, that far along, I would be pulling these off. Um, I mean, I still might do that, but um, I'll, I'll pull off small branches down low um, early on. It's kind of hard to keep all of them in check at once, but um, yeah, this one's just uh, loving it. Another one from White Hot Peppers, uh, it's a uh, peach boot, so. And again, guys, all these ones in the first two rows here are going to be um, 20 gallons, or 15 gallons, sorry and the ones in the far are going to be up in 20 gallons there so here we got our reaper times jay's peach ghost this one was fun from last year just didn't do as well as i wanted it to this year it's looking a million times better than it did last year and remember guys last year i did over water at the beginning of the season uh, it was very hot and um, i was watering and then we had a week of rain and cool weather and um, yeah they didn't have time to adjust but this time around uh, they were of good size when i put them in the ground and um, they're able to soak up a lot more water and i'm just being overall more careful uh, with how much water i have been giving them so reaper times jay's beach ghost here is my uh, uh, bitchalokia times sugar rush peach uh, this was another one that i'm excited about to actually grow and have do decently uh, this is what this one's been kind of eluding me the last couple of years as far as how well it's been doing but but this year it's really doing well and uh, it's very apparent um, all these leaves just look beautiful and healthy and it's what you really want to see when i first put it in the ground it kind of had some marks and stuff on the leaves and the leaves kind of fell off a little bit but um, in the last couple of weeks it's really picked up so it's a bitch low key at the time sugar rush uh, peach 
can see this one is a little bit overfilled. I like to get uh, a base layer of compost on top um, every every year, maybe some worm castings and then some of that bio live. Um, and uh, it was pretty full, so I just kind of overfilled it a little bit, but um, I'd rather overfill it than uh, stir up the uh, microbial life on top of the soil because that's uh, kind of where a lot of that lives. So um, doing as little tilling, hence the name no-till, as possible to your soil uh, when transplanting or uh, just adding new nutrients um, is advised, you know, just to really not mess up that, uh, that uh, activity underneath the soil. So <clears throat> here's our sugar rush peach, or our um, Jay's peach go scorpion. I'm really excited about this. This is another one that has been um, difficult for me to grow in the past for whatever reason. Um, finally got a plant that's doing really well. And um, you can see this shoot here when you see this. You know you're, you're cruising. Um, another mantis hanging out. Another little guy down here. But uh, yeah, these guys just love it on these plants. No peppers yet, but uh, soon to come. And I do need to clean up the base of this one a little bit. You can see that shoot really just coming out of nowhere there. It's pretty cool. Here is my Sugar Rush Striped. Uh, this thing's gonna be very big. This is one of my favorite peppers just as far as eating goes from last year. Um, that's not ridiculously hot. If you guys haven't gotten one, uh, grown this already, I suggest you guys do in the future. Um, very good, very, very good uh, pepper. And here's kind of what a plant looks like that doesn't like growing inside. This is my um, uh, ahi pineapple. So it, the leaves got a lot of edema inside and didn't really like um, the indoor environment. As soon as I put it out, started putting out these leaves. I picked off a lot of peppers on here, just wasn't ready to um, hold those in my opinion. So took those off and um, in about a month or so this thing's going to be looking really big and full of peppers. So Here is our ahi body snatcher. Another ahi variety. Got some peppers on there. I might pick these off as well. And then we got a ricotto right there. Oh, I'm sorry guys. This is actually a um, pineapple ghost. Got that confused. My peach ghost is up on the deck. And we're going to go take a look at those right now. Actually, before we do that, let's go take a look at the T.S. Murphy Yellow Times Yellow Brain Strain. This is the T.S. Murphy Yellow Times Yellow Brain Strain. Um, year three now. Uh, started this one in early 2020. And um, just a huge plant. This is this thing gets to be very large. And I just want to have one, at least one or two more good seasons with it. Last year was kind of a tough season, so didn't really get too many peppers off it. but. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is a beast. Let's look at the stock on that thing. It's like a tree. So yeah, it's our T.S. Murray Yellow Times Yellow Brain Strain. That's the one that I did the cross with the Scotch Brain on. We got some leftover peppers if anybody uh, is in need of some peppers in Minnesota and wants to come by and grab a few extras. It's uh, it'd be cool. I don't want to waste those things. So here is a purple pumpkin Thames peach reaper um, plant one. So this is going to be the elongated version of the bleeding calyx. Here is a purple pumpkin Thames peach reaper plant two, which is going to be the pumpkin shaped. Um, one with the bleeding calyx and you can see how bendy that is it's been growing really fast so here is another purple pumpkin times peach reaper plant one so elongated this is a griff reaper 
plant one or plant two. I'm sorry. So I'm just growing as many of my own crosses out as I can or as, as I have room for. Here is our peach boot. Uh, you can see here, we got some peppers on there. Just a couple little babies. Here we got a Scotch Brain times XCP yellow from White Hot Peppers. It's gonna be a really cool one. I think this one's pretty uh, new, so it's not very stable. So yeah, we're gonna get a couple different shapes off here, I'm assuming. You ever see these little color guys? This is a leaf hopper. They do eat leaves, but I don't really worry about them too much. <clears throat> That's why I have praying mantis. They're kind of pretty actually. And they like to duck underneath and up above. So, yeah, fun fact. Um, here is our boot Loretto G. And this thing is hot. I've grown this thing in the past, and they're just some. Kind of unorganized looking pods, but very, very, very hot. Here is another Gage's Giant Ghost Scorpion Yellow. There's our friend again, hopping about the leaves. Pepper right there. And then... We have one more Purple Pumpkin times Peach Reaper Plant 2. So... Should be getting some peppers on there soon. Nothing as of yet, but soon. This is weird. Um, normally they have like a very large calyx. Um, we're gonna get some different phenols, like I said, so I'll keep you posted as to you know what's going on with these and how they're looking, and we'll uh, do another meetup soon. And then I also want to do a video on compost teas. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions about what you want, might want to see, I can do another video on talking about the cover crops over here, uh, what I'm using, or a video on what I do with my peppers, because I know a lot of you guys probably don't even know what the heck to do with them. Um, yeah, suggest some things and uh, I can come up with some videos um, from that point, so. Anyways, that's going to be it for our very late update 1, 2022. Appreciate you guys for hanging out with me today. And um, hopefully all your guys' gardens are going as well as mine. I'm really excited for this year. And um, excited to learn from you guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can learn from me as well. So, uh, that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And um, we'll see you next time.